time to return home. Yes. In this first place, I would like to appreciate and thank the President of the Republic of South Sudan, San Bakir Mayardi, for allowing and accepting me and my team to converge here to deliver a unifying message to South Sudanese people. And on the occasion of returning back to SPLM party. Historically, most of South Sudanese, including me, joined the SPLM in 1983 to fight to liberate ourselves from slavery, injustice, and oppression from the successive regimes of the then Sudan. Following intensive negotiations led by the SPLM leadership, a comprehensive peace agreement was signed in 2005. This agreement provided for self-determination that subsequently gave birth to the new independent South Sudan in 2011. Many people thought that an independent South Sudan will end decades of war and bring about peace and development to South Sudan. Unfortunately, soon after the independence, our country plunged itself into another bloody conflict. I experienced all sorts of humiliations, hates, characters, assassinations, and all types of betrayals from our own people. Just because of my influence in Western Equatorial State and in an attempt to distance me from the country's leadership. Hence, we are forced, we were forced to form our own movement so that our voice could be heard. National Movement for Change was formed while most of us were in diaspora. And that is the start of peace talk on, on South Sudan. NMC was nominated to take part in the high-level revitalized, revitalized forum that culminated in the signing of the revitalized peace agreement in September 2018. And that paved the way for most oppositions to convert to Juba for the implementation of the peace agreement. While in Juba, we had been consulted by some of our politicians in Equatoria and from other regions to return back to the SPLM party in order to effect some changes and reforms. Considering those calls from SPLM cadres, including our own constituencies, to return back to our mother party and to forget what might have gone wrong, the decision we have taken might be for our own good and the country. Let us be part of the solution than to be part of the problem. On my, on my side, all these years had been a painful transition for me to be outside the SPLM, even though I had contributed effectively in the liberation of this country. <clears throat> I asked myself, what, did it, what does it profit me, who was in the front line fighting for freedom for 22 years, and to abandon the SPLM party, that led us into totally independent just because I am unhappy. I was in the front line like any other comrade. And by that time, we were very united and rallied as comrades behind one common cause. What might have gone wrong within us, Pelham? Why should I contribute to the hijacking of the SPLM party by individuals who contributed less in the liberation struggle. <laughs> Due to the fragmentation of the SPLM party, our people, including the youth, particularly in Western Equatorial State, had polarized and 
the whole population in Western Equatorial State is divided on political party ideology. Many of our supporters who are SPLM members fear to meet some of us openly and freely. Nearly half of the population in the Western Equatorial State decided to abandon SPLM because of the culture of hate and the divide that had been planted among them by our SPLM members. Hence, drove our people into total fragmentation. Our society in Western Equatorial State is completely divided based on our party politics. And that has caused bitter division among families, individuals, counties, and ethnic groups. Our society, our social fabric is gradually depleting. There is no time to waste than to unite our people, bring them on board into SPLM too. Several people might not imagine that I can take such a decision to return back to SPLM because of the intimidations and humiliations I had gone through, but I have to, for the sake of history, our people, and the party, and the country. This decision is for the purpose of bringing us all on board of SPLM in order to effect positive changes within the party. My appeal to our people more especially NMC families and our supporters to join us and return back home to our mother party that brought us a new country. And that is the gesture of goodwill, love for the Liberation Party and the unity of our people in the whole South Sudan and in particular Western Equatorial State, which is the base of my political development. To people of Western Equatorial State, SPLM party should not fail in the state because of me and you. And as such, I don't like to enter into bad history. If we cannot bring peace and unity to our own people in Western Equatorial State, how shall we bring peace to other people in South Sudan? Charity begins at home. I am taking that political decision on behalf of NMC family because I want peace and social cohesion among South Sudanese people and to stop suspicion against people of Western Equatorial State. I am calling up all, upon all our supporters to join me in this endeavor, including those in diaspora like Moses Soro, who had been our Secretary for Humanitarian Affairs and the former Finance Minister in the defunct state of Ye River State. Michael Gelon in Australia, and many more who were already on the way on to returning back to SPLM to implement the vision of the SPLM. Many citizens of South Sudan think that we should not return to a party that is in the verge of death. That notion may not be true, based on several theories. Yes, for now, SPLM may be perceived dead, but I say that SPLM went to sleep due to various factors and may rise any time. In, 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 in South Sudan where they are from. And all of you. We should refrain from hate speeches. We have to refrain from hate speeches. The speeches that is scratch all the wounds should be refrained from. And this is to all South Sudanese, not to us in Western Equatorial alone. Let us focus the future. Perhaps some of you may think Gemma has differences with anybody. What we are politics is politics and coming together for a common purpose is a different thing. 
and our common purpose is peace and development for our people. Not let us leave personal differences aside and look at the bigger picture of things. So my office as the Acting Secretary General is open to all of you. It's open to you, Comrade Bagosoro and the team. If you anybody has an idea how you think we can run the party better, don't wait until the, the time you become Secretary General. Come now and tell me so that we join hands together and put those things into practice. <laughs> Wait, wait. Yeah.